Let's go over how you can feather the edges of a photo using Adobe Illustrator. To get started, grab the rectangle tool and make sure you have Smart Guides enabled by going up here to where it says View and selecting Smart Guides if it isn't already selected. Once you've done that, let's snap the cursor to the top left edge of the corner of the image and I'm gonna click and drag to create a rectangle that covers the entire image. And you can use the Smart Guides to snap that rectangle in place like that. And now we're gonna apply a gradient to this object here. So let me go back to my selection tool. Let's open the gradients menu. I have mine opened already over here on the right. If you don't have a gradient menu, just come up here to the window menu and look for gradient in the list and it should pop up. Now I'm going to apply a radial gradient to this image. So I'll come over here to where it says type and I'm gonna choose this option that says radial gradient. And now I'm going to right click on the image and go to cut. And now I'm gonna click on the image to select it and I'm going to open up the transparency menu by coming up here to where it says window and looking for transparency in this list. From the transparency menu, I wanna click this button right here that says make mask. And once I've done that, I'm gonna click on this black thumbnail right here to enter the mask layer. And now I'm going to paste the image in here or the rectangle in here. So I'll come up here to the edit menu and I will select paste in place. And as you can see, that gradient was applied to the image as a layer mask, which allows us to feather the edges of the photo. And you can adjust this further by coming over here to your gradient tool and using these handles to adjust the hardness and the softness of the edges of your photo here. So you can use these handles to adjust this if you want. You can make the inner more opaque and the outer more transparent. You can decrease the size of the gradient using this handle right here. And if you want to distort the gradient, you can move this handle up like this to get that sort of effect. And I'll just adjust this a little more so we have a nice smooth transition in here. Now this last part is pretty important. Once you're finished feathering the edges of your photo, you're gonna to wanna to get out of the mask mode because right now we're in layer mask mode and we can't do anything else with this image. So right now, if you notice, there's a blue outline going around the mask layer. So I'm gonna click on the image layer instead to select that. And now I can grab my selection tool and move this image around as needed. And you can see the transparency in the feathered areas of the image.